Hey everyone, GXVL here with a brand new Iron Age discussion talking about indie comic books and this is going to be one of those. And yes, I know what you're thinking. Hey, is this like a parody of the Super Mario Brothers? And I'm like, well, I wish I can answer that uh, myself. But for me, I'm only going to be calling it a nod to the likes of the Super Mario Brother uh, my franchise. And I do mean not in specific of me using that word because like uh, they're not acting like the very characters that we know and love when it comes to Mario and Luigi. And just using this movie uh, that came out like, you know, since like a year already is that like uh, they don't, these two girls named uh, Mara and Lucia, they don't act like the Mario and Luigi that we know of. They do act um, uh, differently. And with Lucia, it's very noticeable to me because with Luigi, um, I know I'm not like a hardcore Super Mario fan, but from my understanding, and using that movie to help my case here, is that like he's kind of like a scaredy cat, and uh, but people love him uh, regardless though, and uh, hey, he has kind of like a thing with Daisy or whatever. Uh, but for my com for what I'm trying to comprehend here is that like I don't think Luigi is that much of a serious guy by any means. And he's not like, you know, very stubborn or that much of a hardhead. I say that because that's what um, Lucia is. With Mara, she's nothing like with Mario. Uh, I think because since they're like supposed to be like the main lead, uh, you can uh, uh, you can use them as like a blank slate and do whatever you can with them. If I didn't know any better because, hey, I played Mario ever since I was a kid and... I, it never clicked to me what his personality is supposed to be other than like, Hey, I'm a plumber and I'm gonna beat this, um, uh, I'm a big ass monkey and then this, um, uh, I'm a dragon turtle guy. That's the only thing that, that can come for me to understand with Mario, alright? With, with Mara, you're already getting right off the bat what her character is, uh, when it comes to like, Hey, she's trying to be, you know, like, very helpful and she's kind of like, um, maybe has like a tiny bit of a bubbly personality. And she's just trying to like um, uh, treat her sister to some cookies that she makes, uh, uh, especially when this scenario happens. Like uh, Mara, like what do you want to hear? Oh, I bake you my cookies, my Lucia. <laughs> so, yeah, I just think it's a pretty um, uh, cool dynamics to see these two um, uh, sisters. That like, yeah, Lu 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 Lucia. Um, uh, she comes it comes across as like yeah a little hard hit but uh, you can understand maybe like her frustration. I want to say this dynamic is a tiny bit close to like maybe to the likes of Bird and Ernie from Sesame Street at least like the ones from like a long time ago. I've been rewatching those um, uh, clips uh, from like like the very old ones like season one I'm talking about here and season two like very old ones all right because I never grew up with those but it's. This is still their own uh, dynamic for the most part. And I'm not going to say that, like, uh, <laughs> that Mara is everything like Ernie is uh, by any means. Uh, but I, th to me, it's just a dynamic that kind of makes me think about, like, uh, that's just how they are interacting with each other. With Mario and Luigi, especially from that movie, it's completely different. So I'm glad, I'm glad that these two are completely different and don't have to, like, be the same. I'm, I'm glad it's not trying to mir mirror too much of the Mario Brothers at all whatsoever. Uh, what I do want to also say is that, like, instead of, like, um, uh, facing the Koopas, they're facing sludge monsters by the looks of it. And with Mara, her reaction, like, looks very priceless to me. Uh, so yeah, they are trying to be plumbers, uh, uh, like, whoever calls them, they need some help. It kind of feels like, th with, with this one and more, like, trying to be, like, a tiny bit, like, Ghostbusters to a certain extent. I'm not saying like it, it, it is that entirely, but uh, hey, they needed so, uh, the, um, uh, someone to um, uh, to clean up this mess that has this particular type of um, uh, monster or maybe a ghost. But with this monster in mind, it's a sludge monster. And of course, you're only seeing like two members. But of course, at the very end of the comic book, you do get to see that there's going to be two other characters. I'm not too sure if there are going to be a nod to uh, the likes of, you know, Wario and Waluigi. But, hey, when it comes to Chapter 2, I'll be the judge of that, right? And, uh, yes, they are facing sludge monsters here, and it seems like they are coming out from this uh, pipe. Now, of course, we know where a pipe can lead to. But who knows if it's they're going to... 
if this particular um, a creator along with one of the people who um, works with him uh, I, I just had to look look this up again uh, his name is Irwin uh, this guy uh, he's not Irwin he, but he's trying to refer to himself as um, a draw and talk and uh, I gotta say uh, uh, I did interacted with the guy at first hand uh, around the interwebs and uh, I gotta say he's a very rational and civil dude uh, um, uh, so far and I really respect the heck out of that I really do because we need more conversations like that and I appreciate it he actually informed me a little bit more how I know this is pretty infamous for me to say <laughs> and pretty taboo but since uh, Charlie Morris Critical has been talking about how AI can be a decent use just for like um, uh, um, uh, comedic stuff, uh, you know, like with that um, uh, Spongebob thing that he um, uh, mentioned <laughs> that, that people are cooking up with. Uh, this guy right here, uh, he was talking um, uh, about like AI, how it could be a, an okay and decent use and mostly as a tool and not being used for everything 24-7, uh, alright? So, I understood where he's coming from and, and that was really cool, I, I didn't have to like act so uh, irrationally whatsoever I, I, I but yes i know what people are thinking like wait a minute so did this guy use ai for this comic book and i'm like well i want to see it's a little hard for me to determine because like i do think the artwork and the like the art style looks pretty good the face expressions look pretty good uh i don't know if he did use ai or not for this one but i want to say he didn't i want to say he really didn't uh but if he did, like maybe he might pop up on one of my videos to comment uh, on this one uh, to correct me here, which I won't mind whatsoever though. And I really mean no disrespect to the guy whatsoever, and I hope he doesn't take offense to that uh, at all. <laughs> because I am trying to be as civil and rational as possible and just trying to give out my own honest thoughts and what I've been thinking of as of late. Alright guys, but anyways, uh, I just think... But if you're wondering, like, how's the writing, though? How is the writing in this? And I'm like, well, this, uh, even though I enjoyed it, I was just a little underwhelmed. Probably just because, like, yeah, you got to do the basics, which is okay enough. Uh, so, in other words, nothing too particularly spicy in Chapter 1. But I still enjoyed it nonetheless. And, of course, made me curious what's to come next. So... That's enough for me to at least still, like, care about. Something that is not an indie uh, uh, comic whatsoever, uh, and, and it's from Japan, uh, it's Sin Sinra Kagura. I've been playing this game. I've been playing one of the games for quite a while, and I'm like, you know what, is there, like, a manga to this series? And I'm like, okay, then let me read it. And I was very underwhelmed by that. And I want to say, like, maybe I kind of enjoyed it, but I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't know about it. This one I at least enjoyed despite being on Rome, and yet I still want to continue looking forward to. And what's funny is that like, this is using a tra like like pretty attractive women, while Senra Kagura has attractive women in there too. I, again, sometimes it's just a story writing if it's going to really click to you. Right now I'm just trying to reread that one uh, to see maybe if I was a little harsh on it when it comes to my personal feelings on this one. Uh, now, with this, would I actually recommend checking this one out? Since I read it myself, I would say, like, uh, might as well, like, definitely check it out and form your own opinion. And don't just take my opinion as value, uh, but I would think you would at least get a kick out of it and be curious how the story flows and especially how the dynamic is yourself uh, to see how you guys view it. For me, I, again... I really want to um, uh, know these characters a little bit more to heart, and uh, I hope I'm um, uh, draw and talk to do more uh, comics like this one because I think I might find a new favorite, uh, despite like just a little underwhelmingness. But again, when it comes to um, uh, on a first volume or issue or anything of that matter, you just got to be patient. All right, I know that people. Uh, had been a little bit um, uh, going on and off on things uh, when, when something is new out there. Of course, like, again, let it be a nod, and even though it's trying to be new on its own thing, uh, just be patient with it and see if something does approve upon in the next um, uh, chapter and or volume and or issue. So, yeah, 
Uh, if you guys have read this, let me know in the comments below. And I'm sorry if I kept on rambling a lot. And <laughs> especially if I wasn't making any sense to you guys. Hopefully I was um, for some people. If not, I'm sorry. This has been Jigs VL signing off right now. Later.